Hey guys, what's up, it's Jade here. I hope you all are having a great day. Uh, and today, I'm going to be showing you guys my video game collection, starting from the GameCube to the Wii U. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And first, let's get started with the GameCube. Wait, wait, wait. Before I start, though, I just want to show you something. This is an Animal Crossing poster. And up here is my Animal Crossing New Leaf poster. I got a uh, Legend of Zelda poster, but it's not, but, but, uh, well, I got it, but I'm not hanging it up because I'm going to frame it and we're getting a picture frame to frame it in. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's get started with my GameCube games. <laughs> Well, I only really got like one GameCube game, and it's um, Luigi's Mansion. Yep, as you can see, I actually really like the GameCube disc because they look like really cool. Uh, so yeah, I guess the next one will be um, DS games. A uh, big part of my childhood growing up. Okay, so let's get. So this is my DSi, but in here are my DS games. So real quick, I'm gonna just start up my DSi for some nostalgia. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys all my DS uh, games. They're all in my case. I think I was when I on my desk because there was a DS game and my DSi horn. Never mind, it's actually in my case right here. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys all my DS games. I also have some free DS games in here too. So this is the first so this game is WarioWare DIY. I don't have the case for it. But yeah, I'm gonna get all the cases too, just so the, the cartridge is on. Okay, so the next game is Pokemon Black 2, I have the case for that. It's a pretty good game, pretty good. The cases are in here. This is my stylus case. Yes, I have everything divided. Pokemon Black 2. I, I wanted just the year it came out because I am a Pokemon fan. I might wait to get uh, Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah, this is actually the first time I'm actually waiting to get a Pokemon game. Uh, Nintendo Dog, Chihuahua, and Friends. Very fun game, actually. Very, very fun. I would recommend this to anybody that actually has a DS and, don't, and doesn't even have a Nintendo Dogs game. Because the Nintendo Dog series is very fun. I believe I do have the case in here. Let's see where it is. Oh, here it is. Yep, here it is. Nintendo Dog, Chihuahua, and Friends. This was going to be my first... Wait, no. Actually, I'll show you what was going to be my first game when I get up to it. Alright, so next is... Okay, this was actually going to be my first game. Nintendo Dogs Dalmatian, friends. But my brother had to do something on the game. But I remember I wanted to play this game so badly when I got... When I, uh, my brother gave it to me. Uh, so yeah, this is another Nintendo Dogs game. Again, very, very fun. Uh, I don't know if I, actually, I don't even know if I have the case for this one. Oh, I do, I do, okay. So, yes, this is, um, this is Nintendo Dogs, uh, Wab and Friends. This one my brother also gave me as well. Okay, so the next game is Pokemon Soul Silver. Very fun game, yet very expensive. And I have the case for that somewhere. Uh, Pokemon Diamond. Here we go, Soul Silver. I I actually really like this case. So this is actually a really nice looking case. So, so yeah, again, another really fun game. We're in Nintendo DS. So. Uh, Rhythm Heaven. Very very fun. Don't have a case for this game, but this is like I I mean it's just really really fun. Like. It's basically like many different mini games in one, but you have to like it's like basically like mini games, 
full of rhythm, and you have to try to follow the rhythm in the mini games. Very, very fun game, though. Okay, so the next game. Mario Party DS, I think I do have a Oh, yeah, I do. Mario Party DS, very fun Mario Party game. Um, I like it better than the 3DS Mario Party game. Um, I think, not the, like, the new one that came out, like, the 100 thing. Um, but I like it better than the, I forgot what it was, like, some sort of, like, tropical Mario Party tropical thing, I don't know. I forgot what it was called, don't make fun of me. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, this game is very fun, and it has, like, a very, and there's also a story mode in it, which I don't think they have that in any other Mario Parties, which makes this, like, very, like, a very awesome Mario Party. Okay, so... The next game is my first ever Pokemon game, Pokemon Diamond. My brother gave me this game, and I honestly gotta say, this is like one of the best games I've ever played in my whole entire life. This is actually my favorite Pokemon game, to be honest, but I don't know, I don't think Ultra Sun and Moon is gonna beat this for me. Uh, I have a case. This is actually, a, and look at this case, hold on a minute. The light is shining, let me turn off the light real quick. Wait, no, I bet you won't be able to see anything. Look, see, he's doing that. That's cool, right? Yeah, I like how it does that in the sign. It looks really awesome. Okay. And yeah, very fun game. Rebecca, if you don't have a game, get either Pokemon Diamond, Platinum, or Pearl. Because, honestly, the Vicino region is like one of the best regions, in my opinion. Okay, so the next game I have is Wheel of Fortune. Good game. I mean, it's good and all. I I mean, it's just a good. Uh, I don't have a, the case for this game. Uh, this is a great game. Please, if you have a DS and you don't have this game, please get this game because it is very, very fun. The music is amazing. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Very fun, and if I, I'm probably gonna make a series on this because this is a very fun game. The story is amazing. This game is very good. It's actually not that hard right now. Well, right now I'm having a little bit of trouble because I'm a little lost of what I have to do. But it is very fun. It will keep you like entertained for hours. Okay, so the next game. Um, okay, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is also a very fun game, um, as you can see, it's Ray T, um, there is, like, some blood, like, um, basically, in this game, you are a ace attorney, and you're solving some court cases, and you play this guy named Phoenix Wright, and you have to try to, like, make sure, like, and you basically, I don't know, it's like, it's basically like a court game, sort of, it's pretty fun, though. Yep. Objection! Mario Kart DS! Let me just tell you something right here. This was my first ever Nintendo game I ever played. This was my first um, ever Nintendo game. So, like, it wasn't even Nint Nintendo Dogs, but it was actually Mario Kart DS. This game, I have so much nostalgia of playing. I used to play this game so much as a child. You don't know like how much. I used to play it was, like I think almost every single day. So yeah. This is like a great game to start off with if you if you don't if you're like thinking about getting a DS, get this game first. It's very fun. Either get this game or a Nintendo Dog game first. They're both very fun. Pokemon Black. This game, I've actually made it the farthest in. This is the first ever Pokemon game I actually made it to the OE4 in. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I'm like a, I used to be a, like a quitter on video games. Pokemon Black was the farthest I've ever made. But now I, but my friends helped me beat Pokemon Moon. So now Pokemon Moon is the first ever Pokemon game I beat. But this one, I've actually made it to the Wii 4 on. And it was the first ever Pokemon game I actually made it to the Wii 4 on. It was also, um... Oh, I have the case for this game, I think. Uh, there it is. Wait, do I actually have it? I bought this game when it was like pre-owned, but I remember getting the case with it. Hmm. We get like, rid of it. 
something must have happened to it. Hold on, let me keep looking. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, something, I'm, maybe I don't actually have a case for it. Uh, but yeah. Very fun game, though. And this is, like, like I was saying, um, oh yeah. And you guys actually didn't hear me saying. Uh, this was actually the first ever Pokemon game I bought. Um, I went to GameStop, and this is a very funny story. I bought a Pokemon black and white handbook with me. Was looking through this to decide, who should I choose as a starter? And I'm like, Oh, I guess I'll just choose Tepe, because Tepe seems like, because I thought, like, what, like, the facts in there were true, like, 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 you know how they give, like, a little, like, cool, like, Pokédex facts, like, statement about, like, oh, this Pokémon does that and this, so I'm like, well, Tepe seems like it's a pretty cool Pokémon, so I'm going to choose Tepe, and, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Style savvy, fun game if you're into fashion or you just or you're just into like helping out customers or shopping is a good game to get. I like it. Uh, Pokemon White 2, have a case. Good game again, just it's basically just the same as Pokemon Black 2. It's a good game. But I would really just recommend getting Pokemon Black and White the first ones first, and then get the the second versions because, like, you would actually understand the game a little bit better if you got the first version of it first, like Pokemon Black and the and then Pokemon White first before Pokemon Black and White too. Okay, dogs. Uh, yeah, and there's writing on this because my brother wrote his name on this because it this was handed down to me by his brother. I think he wrote it so that way it wouldn't get lost. But dogs, dogs is actually a lot better than someone might think it is. This game is actually very, very good. You play as like this kid, and um, you get a dog, and it's actually really cool. Like you get like cool, like it's actually like not bad at all. I would rate this game really like a ten out of ten because it's just really good. It's not just about like it's not like one of those games where you play as a dog. You play as the human, and. You're like a you're like a little kid that travels around town and stuff like that, and you like walk your dog outside and make friends and stuff like that. It's really really cool. I would really recommend buying this if you have a DS or a 3DS, because it is very good. Okay, so I have two more games left. Pokemon Platinum. I think I actually do have the case to it for this. Do I? Probably not. I will actually know. But I actually have more games left, don't I? Oh yeah, I do. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot I had I had another game to show you guys. Alright, Pokemon Platinum, I don't have the case for. But it is it's basically the same thing as Pokemon Diamond. Very good game. Uh, okay, Pokemon White. Same as Pokemon Black. However, I didn't make it far on this game, but it's still a good game like Pokemon Black. <sighs> And last but not least, this is a very good game. The next one I'm about to... Oh, actually, it's two more. I'm sorry. I actually didn't realize I had this many DS games. All right. So, I guess I'll show you this one first. I'll save the best for last. <laughs> Super Mario 64 DS. Very good game. Um, doesn't have the same 64 graphics. But, you're basically playing Super Mario 64 on your DS. This is... Like one of the first games I got that this game and um Mar and Mario Kart DS was like the first two games I ever got. So I chose between Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart and Mario 64, and I was like, I'm gonna play some Mario Kart first. And yep, and then this probably became like the second game I played, or actually no, I think it was Nintendo Dogs, and then this became the third one. All right, last but not least, a very good game. The game that got me into the series. The game I spent so many hours on. The game I have so much nostalgia on. Animal Crossing Wild World. I have so many memories playing this game. It's not even funny. This game is what got me into Animal Crossing. And oh my gosh. I just have so many memories of trying to get a TV in this game and getting so mail when the animals wouldn't give it to me on the retail on the black market um, day. And I have lots of memories of Mr. Rossetti as well. 
I actually have the key to this. Guys, if you have an Animal Crossing Wild, if you guys don't have an Animal Crossing game and you don't have a DS, get the Animal Crossing Wild World. It's so good. If you don't have a free DS, you only have like a DS or DSi, get this game. You will, you won't regret it. It is very, very fun. I really enjoy this game. All right, so that's all my DS games. Now we're gonna get on to the Wii games. Let's get. Okay, so here we, here are the Wii games. Hold on, let me just, this is my friend's uh, Christmas gift I'm giving him. It's a 3DS game. So, all right, so and here are my Wii games. Some of these are my Wii U games, but. Most of these that are in here are we or most of these that are in here are Wii games. This is why because our uh, Wii was it the Wii was also my childhood as well. Uh, a lot of Wii games, by the way, I'm trying to like buy back because I sold a lot of them because when I was little, I was a quitter and I used to sell back old games that I wasn't good at. But now I'm actually trying to beat them, so I'm buying them all back. So here, I'm just gonna show you guys my Wii controllers. Yeah, I'm sorry. So here is, hold on a minute, so yeah, this is the Mario Kart Wii accessory, so here is my Wii remote, uh, I think this is actually from 2006, this remote, because I think my brother got the Wii in 2006, this is my Mario Kart Wii accessory, here is a new Wii remote I just got off, that I just got recently, um, like a couple months ago, it's a Rock Candy Blue Wii remote, I really like it, and these are two nunchucks, and I got this from my grandma because she she stopped using her Wii, so she said I can have the Wii Motion Plus accessory if I want to, if I want it. So yeah, because I think, because like I said, I think my brother got the Wii in 2006, so it didn't come with the like the Motion Plus stuff at the time. So yeah, so let's get started with some Wii games. Oh yeah, this is a GameCube. I'm gonna take that out. Here is um Mario Super Sluggers. Great game. I really like it. Here, where should I should put these. Uh, I'll put these like right here. Yeah. All right. So the next game, Mario Kart Wii. Wa love this game. Lots of, lots of nostalgia. This game. It's a good game. Um, Animal Crossing City Folk. Love this game as well. Very good game. Um, this game. Watts, Watts, Watts of Memories playing this. I used to play this game with my friends all the time. All the time we used to play this game. And I remember I used to play, when I, I used to be friends with, was it? Well, all the people I used to play this game with, I used to be friends with. Um, And I remember playing this game with, with this kid I used to be friends with. And. We would always go online and battle with each, and battle with each other on Smash. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this game, tons of memories. I, I like using the Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer is always my favorite to use. Okay, so the next game is Bully. Um, it's kind of like GTA 5, but like in a school. Uh, there's... This, I think there is some cursing in this game, so if you're not allowed to, like, w like play games of cursing, then don't get it. <laughs> yeah, because some of these games are, like, that have a, like, for kind of, like, older kids a little bit, or kind of, like, for teenagers, some of them. This game is very fun. I really recommend anyone to get this. I know this is E10 10 up, but this game is very, very fun. Like, is is basically, like, a brutal Mario soccer game. <laughs> Very, very fun. Really recommend anyone to get this if you have a Wii or a Wii U because it's very, very fun. Okay, next is Mario Party 8. Great Mario Party game. I think this is probably, this is gotta be like my, my second favorite Mario Party game. Actually, you know what? I think this might be my first one. Mario Party DS might be my second one because this game is very, very fun too. Basically, I think a lot of the Wii games are very, very fun. <laughs> Alright, and last but not, wait, actually no, not last but not least, I forgot, there's two other games after this one that I have to show you. Wii Fit. I don't have Wii Fit Plus. This is, I have the old Wii Fit from, um, 2006, 2007, I don't know. But yeah, oh, I should show you guys the disc too. I forgot. So yeah, this is the disc for Mario Super Sluggers. 
Uh, I'll show you the Mario Kart Wii disc. That's Mario Kart Wii. Animal Crossing City Folk, I'll show you. Great Animal Crossing game. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Bully. Uh, okay, Mario Strikers Charged. Mario Party 8. And we fit. Okay, so now two more games I have to show you guys. Alright. So here are Wii Sports Resorts that I got from my grandma because she she used to ha she had this game because she had like I said a Wii Motion a Wii a Wii Motion Plus she had like the, the Wii Plus I, I think yeah I think it was called the Wii Plus you know where she got the like the motion accessory so again uh she stopped playing the Wii so she let me have this game with the plus accessory and uh. Probably everyone knows what this game is. Hold on a minute. Can I find it? Ah, uh, here we go. Wii Sports. Obviously, I think anyone had, everyone has their own, like, rating for that game. Here's a Wii Sports Resorts disc. And this is the Wii Sports disc. Alright. So now we're gonna get on to, like, kind of like the less nostalgia ones, but... But, but one of my favorite, but it is a good handheld, the uh, Nintendo 3DS. Okay. <laughs> So now we're doing the 3DS games. This is my 3DS. It's the new 3DS XL. It's a Galaxy one. Here, I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, I have a theme on it, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys that. It's really cool. Yeah, it's the, Major it's the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I really, I really like it. Alright. Yeah, <laughs> once it gets on health and safety, we'll just end it there. Alright, so, it's in the same case as the DS games are. And I have the cases as well, so yeah. First, we're gonna, first is Pokemon X. It was alright, in my opinion. I want to say, not the worst, not the best game ever, but, in my opinion, it was pretty decent. It was pretty good. I liked it. Alright. The next, we got, um... Pokemon Y, yeah. Oh yeah, this is one real quick. Here, real quick, okay. Yeah, Pokemon Y. Uh, have the case for that as well. Let me find where it is. Pokemon, Pokemon Y. There you are, Pokemon Y. I want, I remember I wanted to get Pokemon X and Y so badly. Yeah, I usually like to buy both versions. So that way, one version I'm a girl, one version I'm a boy. Next is Style Savvy Trendsetters. Uh, there's like the other style, style Savvy game, but I think this one is a lot better. You do a lot more in this game, and again, it's, it's you own you own like your own uh clothes shop, and you sell clothes to people, and it's sort of also like fa and it's also like kind of like a fashion game as well. So if you're into fashion or you just want to have a game where you own a store, uh, this is a good recommendation. Uh, by the way, I don't have the case for the game. Alright. So next is Nintendo Dogs Plus Cast. I think I have the case for this. Let me see if I have it. I think I do, though. Nintendo Dogs Plus Cast. Hmm. No, I don't have it. I, don't, I thought I did. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, hold on a minute. I meant to say, hold on a minute, but actually, I'm like, mini me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the next game is. Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty. It's, I actually find it to be pretty cool. So, yeah, here's Pokemon Omega Ruby. 
Um, I remember I was so happy when they released this because I wanted to play so badly the old Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Ruby. And when I finally found out that they were making a remake, I was so happy. I was like, yes, now I finally get to play Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby. Alright, so the next game is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Probably gotta be like one of the best Zelda games of all time. I actually really want to get the Nintendo 64 version, but I don't have a Nintendo 64. I only have a Wii U and a 3DS and a DSi. And I might be getting the Nintendo Switch for Christmas. I really hope I do. So yeah, happy keys for this game. Here we go. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Honestly, just I, I love this game so much. And I have a poster that looks just like the game cover right here. That's the poster I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Okay, so next is Animal Crossing New Week. I remember that I wanted to get this game so badly. I wanted to get it the first day it came out, but I actually got it a week later. I was so happy when I got to play this game because uh, I really wanted it. Again, I'm a very big fan of Animal Crossing, so I was so happy when I was able to get this game. Alright, let me find the game keys. Animal Crossing New Leaf, here it is. Again, just very good uh, 3DS game. I really recommend this game uh, to new Animal Crossing players because you get to do a lot more than... You get to do a lot more stuff in this game than you get to do in uh, Wild World and City Folk. But in City Folk, you get to travel to the city, which is cool. Okay. Tomodachi Wife. You see this game, right? Do you. Are you actually wanting this game more badly than I wanted Animal Crossing New Leaf? When I saw the. When I was, I was watching a YouTube video, and then all of a sudden a commercial came up, and it was this commercial for Tomodachi Wife. The minute I, this, like five seconds into it, I'm like, I want this game so badly. This game, I actually watched, like, a Nintendo Direct for it four times because I really just wanted to get the, this game. I got the, I got this game the first day it came out. I'm like, Mom, can I please get this game the first day it comes out? Because I really wanted to get this game. I absolutely just love this game. Like this is probably gonna be like my favorite 3DS game of all time. You get to you get to like use your Mii's on the island, and I really want to get Tomodachi Collection, but I don't know if it's region locked for the U.S. Um, because it was only released in Japan the Tomodachi Collection, but it would be really cool to have that one and this one. But honestly, I love this game. There's so much you can do in this game. If you have a 3DS, if you have a 3DS and don't have this game. Please get this game, because this game is amazing. You'll love it. Like, like this game, like, you can just get easily addicted to. So, yeah, the game case is, is, is also really good. I absolutely love this game so much. Okay, next is... Oh, whoops. That's a DS game. <laughs> next is... Pokemon Sun. Whoops. Yes, Pokemon Sun. Uh, it's a good game. It's a good game. I mean, it's not bad at all. I found it to be really awesome, actually. Okay, so next is the... Uh, Pokemon Moon. My friends told me to beat this game, like I said. Honestly, I think Pokemon Sun and Moon have very good music in it. Like, the Wii 4 music for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. So yeah, here's Pokemon Moon. Next is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. I absolutely love that they made this for the 3DS because now I get to play Ocarina of Time wherever I go. I absolutely love that they did that. Very good game as well. Um, so yeah, here we go. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's a great, great game. And I think I only that last one. I think I have like actually one more. One of my DS games flung out. <laughs> Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. 
My friend really wants this game. He actually tried stealing it from me at camp. One of my, uh, John. Yeah, it was John. Uh, he tried stealing it from camp. And <laughs> he, he wasn't actually going to steal it. He was doing it as a joke, but he really wants this game. I think this game is good too. I remember I, I that was the first one I played. I played this one before I played Ruby, cause I got both versions. So yeah, that's all my um. I think that's all my 3DS games. I'm more of a DS type of person. So finally, last but not least, we're gonna get to the Wii U game. <laughs> Here we go. Last but not least, the Wii U game. So first, we got Mario Kart 8. By the way, here is the Wii U. Yes. So anyway, yeah, here is Mario Kart 8. Next is Super Mario 3D World. Pretty fun. Um, it's alright in my opinion. Next we got some Splatoon. Love this game. This is a really fun game. This game. Oh, by the way, you guys might be thinking, uh, are you gonna show your amiibo too? I'm gonna do that in a in a sep in a separate video. I, I don't know what. I don't know if I'm gonna try to either get some more amiibo or if I should just show the ones I have now, like in a different video. Um, but yeah, I'll 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 I'm just basically gonna do um. I'll basically show my amiibos in a different video, not in this video. So yeah. So my next Wii U game is Nintendo Land. This actually came with my Wii U. I think I bought the Wii U the first year it came out. This game's pretty good. It's alright. Uh, next we got Wii Fit U. Love this game. This is really good. It's, it's basically the same as we as we fit and we fit plus, but um, there's a lot more stuff to do in this version though. Next we got Super Smash Bros. I like Brawl better. Um, and I like the amiibos all I that you can use in this. I have the Villager amiibo. But, um, I got the Pikachu amiibo. I got um. I don't think I really have the rest of them now on the cover of this. <laughs> I have like a lot of the rare amiibos. I have like the Lucario amiibo. I have the um, Jigglypuff amiibo. And those I found in like my local GameStop. So it's really awesome how I found like just rare amiibos there. Uh, next is Super Mario Maker. This is a fun game. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um. Pikmin 3, it's okay in my opinion. Oh, um, I'll show you all the game discs, by the way, after um, I show them. And Mario Kart 10, it's pretty good. One of the game discs I have in here is Mario Kart 8. This is my Mario Kart 8 disc, and my Wii U is powering on. Yep, there it is. I have the volume all up on it. Alright, so yeah, this is my Mario Kart 8 disc. I'm just gonna put that in here. T I take very good care of my my uh, video game discs. Next, um, the Super Mario 3D World disc. Next is the Splatoon one. Now we got uh, Nintendo Land. I like the Nintendo Land disc. Wait, I think I have one more game, do I? I thought I had Super Mario Bros. U. Maybe I... I mean, I definitely remember having it. Maybe I actually sold it. I don't know. I thought I had that game. I don't know. Maybe I lost it or something. I thought I did have that game. I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, Wii Fit U. 
Because it's definitely supposed to be in here, like all my other Wii and Wii U games. Uh, so yeah, this is Wii Fit U. Oh yeah, Nintendo Club! <laughs> Anyone remember that? I, you know what, I got those Animal Crossing posters from Nintendo Club. Uh, Super Smash Bros. And, uh, Super Mario Bros. U is okay, in my opinion. Uh, Super Mario Maker. Pikmin 3 has a nice looking disc. I like this disc, it's really cute. The game is alright. I kind of think the older Pikmin games are a lot better. I'm probably gonna buy Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 for my Wii U. For, well, for my Wii U, but play them on the Wii menu. And here's Mario Party 10. Alright, that is my video game collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to bop that like button um, and subscribe. Um, stay positive as well. And goodbye, guys. See ya.